What's up, guys? I uh, decided to do a video this evening. I haven't been doing many videos lately for one reason or another. Motivation, lazy, whatever the case may be. We all get there. But um, on one of my, um, I think it was a refresh in my first aid video, first aid kit video, uh, a guy came and uh, left a comment on it, and I checked out his channel. And um, he's got a lot of pretty cool videos on there, so I'll put a link to his channel. The name of the channel is The Prepared Norseman, um, and uh, I'll put a link to the video about the reference here. So I'm kind of stealing his idea, but I don't know where he got it from, but it makes a lot of sense. And his uh, the uh, title of the video that I'm going to link is called um, The Knife Intimidation Factor. I, I believe that's what it's called, Knife Intimidation Factor. And the premise of the video is... Um, you know, he lives in Norway, and you know, laws are different everywhere. Norway, United States, state by state, city by city. And, you know, knife laws. There not. There actually are a lot of knife laws. And you see, I got a pile of knives over here. You know, I got folders. I got fixed blades. I got multi tools. Uh, neck knives, hunting knives, survival knives. Pick it. I got it. So his whole thing was. Um, you know, um, intimidating knives. So he has a couple of knives, and I'm not going to mention what he's got, but if you go to his channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. And the whole thing was, you know, a lot of us EDC knives, even if you don't you do not do any EDC stuff, you still probably carry a pocket knife around with you. And um, a Swiss Army knife it was his good example. He says, well, if you're at a, a, it could be a child's birthday party, and that's an example he used, so I'm still on his example. And let's just say somebody needs a knife to cut something open. Well, you pull your Swiss Army knife out, and your little blade comes out of there, and uh, I don't know which model this is, but um, people just think it's a tool. The same with um, any kind of multi-tool with a blade, and um, you know nobody thinks twice when you pull a multi-tool out with a knife on it. It's a tool. Now, even though um, here's a good example right here. It's a CRKT squid. If I were to pull this knife out, it's all metal, right? It even though the blade is shorter than the Swiss Army knife, this is still a more intimidating looking knife. And that was his point. It's got a, a tactical look to it. I mean, even this one, you know, it's got a long blade on it, but it's not necessarily the length of the blade as much as it is um, how it looks. And uh, I'd like to add to his video, you know, all these multi-tools, lock blades, uh, even this little neck knife. You know, if, if I were wearing this and um, I could pull this off in a threatening manner, this looks more like a, a, a weapon than it does a tool now. So we get, I think along with the fact that a lot of these knives look like tools and a lot of them look like weapons, uh, and with relation to the um, intimidation factor, you also have to think about, I think, presentation. Um, I got these um, uh, CKR, CRKT knives right here. I love these knives. As you can see, this one gets used a lot. It's beat up. Um, I hammer with it, whatever, and I carry my front pocket down here. So what you do, you know, if you carry a knife like this, you know what I'm talking about. You pull this knife out of your pocket and you snap it open as hard as you can just to get that click sound. Isn't that not intimidating? This is an intimidating knife, I'm not going to lie, it's a fighting knife, so to um, liner lock everything, so this is a knife that's uh, got a purpose. It's not like a hunting knife, it's not like a tool. It could be, so you can still pull it out of your pocket, you know, and open it small, and then just hold the blade in a way that it doesn't look intimidating. Uh, but if you were to snap it out of your pocket and pop it open and go to work on a piece of string, this looks like a weapon and not a tool. And uh, this is the same knife, but it doesn't have the serrations on it. So his video brought up a really good point about the knife intimidation factor. And it's something I should think about because I EDC something just about every day. Uh, typically, I've, for the last, I don't know, maybe a year, maybe eight months, I've been EDCing this uh, Leatherman Wingman. It's got a lot of tools I like, um, you know, pliers, spring-loaded. The only problem I have with it, I don't know if it's going to show up, but that gap between the wire cutters, they do not touch. So if you've got small wire, you're not going to be able to cut it or strip it. It bothers me. Um, but I have carried this little Swiss Army knife, but I used to, and I did EDC this for a little while, and the squid, but for the most part, it was one of these. And I think I need to start considering where I'm going. Now I could, where I work, around the people I work with, 
everybody has one of these or one like it and that's all we do we snip around snap our knives open we don't even think about it nobody's intimidated 90 percent of us carry pistols so this is not an intimidation thing at my office at all it might be at yours maybe you pull this out of your pocket and people are like no big deal but you pull this out and it's a whole new ball of wax you could get written up i don't know i don't know what kind of rules you have where you in your workplace or whatever and just imagine if you had you know like this uh uh uh, Habilis bush tool with the alpha rig. I mean, you don't want to be carrying that on your belt at work. You know, that might freak some people out. And even this Mora Companion. I have so many of these Mora Companions. They're perfect to put in bags that you keep in your car. Even this, you know, it can be an intimidating knife. And these Moras are very sharp. And um, I think that if you were to pull this out in such a way that makes it look intimidating, that's another factor. But if you were just to pull it out, you know, and be very careful with it and make it appear that it's a tool, it wouldn't be a problem. Um, so yeah, go over and check out the Repaired Norseman's channel. He's got a lot of EDC videos. He's got a lot of uh, videos on different knives and multi-tools. He's got a collection of Swiss Army knives and he's got a lot of first aid videos. And um, I don't know what his line of work is. Um, he seems very knowledgeable in uh, first aid, and I'm not just talking putting a band-aid on a wound. He's, there's one of his videos showing you how to pack um, a knife wound, and uh, I, I've taken some some T triple C training, uh, and um, that's that's one of the things. You know, you got a big gash, you just cram gauze or rag or whatever you got into it. So he's had some kind of first aid training or trauma training. So uh, yeah, go check out his channel and. Um, uh, give his channel a look. If you're in the EDC or first aid and you like knives, I think you'll have something there to watch. So then again, uh, and again, remember, if you EDC a knife or a multi-tool, think about how you pull it out, how you present it when you're using it. And I think everybody be at ease knowing that you're not about to pull a Leatherman out and start going to work on a bunch of people on a bus. So anyway, be safe out there and uh, be cognizant of how you display your knife that you carry around with you later. I want to take a couple of minutes and thank you. If you watched the video all the way to the end and you're seeing this, I really, really appreciate it. I'll put my email address and my mailing address right over here somewhere. And if you have stickers you want to send me, I'd appreciate it. Talk to y'all again soon. Goodbye.